are you? You are not the commanding officer I requested. No, dear madame, I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I can assure you that I... This will simply not do. I sent Elizabeth to bring me a competent lawman. And that is what she has brought, madame. Now, I would like to continue my investigation. You understand correctly. It is my daughter's bracelet. It is a rather expensive piece. And valuable to your daughter, no doubt. It was a gift. Yes, it was from her late father, my husband, the Viscount. And it has not gone missing. It was stolen. I do not believe so. I know so. It was Florette, the maidservant. I knew I could not trust her. And why is that? Because I don't. I do not need to explain myself any further, especially to a measly officer. Don't be ridiculous. I have told you who is guilty. If there had been a break-in, surely it would be your job to stop them. If it was the case, of course, madame. Although I cannot predict a burglar's movement. Perhaps then you have proved me right, and you aren't the competent officer I require. Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. Ah.
Really, officer, you are wasting both your time and mine. And what is your point? May I ask of the subject? You may not. Honestly, your prying is getting on my last nerve. Merci, madame. You have been... What do you think you're doing in here? Who let you in? Mademoiselle Angeline, I presume. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. An officer of the law? But what are you doing here? Don't you need to be chasing down the burglar? Your bracelet has gone missing. It is only correct. I speak with all members of the house and investigate the scene of the crime. Ah, if we must. Uh, merci. I will attempt to take up as little of your time as possible. Some rat stole my breath this morning. Even though it's clear someone has broken in, Maman refused to listen and blamed Florette. You sound very convinced it was taken by someone from outside of the house. My window was open when I returned. How else can you explain that? It is of great value. Monet was no object to father. It was a gift from your father. I can only assume it holds great value to you also. Of course it does. What a silly thing to say. It's a good thing Maman had it insured with the others. It must have been while I was down at breakfast with Elizabeth. She was with me all morning. Mademoiselle Elizabeth was with you until you discovered the bracelet was missing? She was. She woke me up later than usual. I washed and dressed, and we went down to the lounge for breakfast. 
You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet. something I am not What a revelation!
The longer you are here, the further the criminal goes with my bracelet. But by all means, fire away. Is one bracelet not enough? Oh, why don't you believe me? I wish you hadn't spoken to Maman. As I have stated, it is my duty to speak with every member of the house, and I would not want to have discovered a further missing piece later. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet. beginning to become clearer. Another success. I never doubted myself. The longer you are here, the... How should I know? I returned to the room and father was face down on the floor. It must have been the burglar. So it is your father that is the subject. Isn't he handsome? I remember watching him sit for it. He kept looking across and smiling at me. <laughs> the artist was getting awfully angry at him. Mama never wants to talk about him. She says it's too hard, but she acts more like she doesn't even care he's gone. I'm sure that is not the case. It must have been very hard for her, for you both. I miss him every day. He always knew how to put a smile on my face. <laughs> I remember how much fun we would have, all three of us. In the summer, father and I would play hide and seek while Maman read. She always helped me though whenever it was his turn to hide. I would stand in the gazebo, cover my eyes and count, and when I turned, he was nowhere to be seen. 
Maman would lower her book and flash a look towards his hiding spot. After I found him, he clapped and cheered as though I had won a gold medal. When I was hiding, it didn't matter where I was. He could never find me. I always thought I, I was an expert hider, but when I think back now, I know he was letting me win. He always said my smile was prize enough for him. He always knew just what to say. I'm sure he would want you to be smiling today, even under such circumstances. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can. Order and method, that is the way to The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Really, officer, you are w Only if you are prepared to take Florette away. It is an offense to incarcerate someone without suitable proof of misdeeds. I must question Mademoiselle Florette to gather her version of events. If you will not do your duty and lock her up, then I must. She shall remain there, and I, the keyholder, until she is led from the room in handcuffs. Merci, madame. You have been...
Mademoiselle Elizabeth, I hope you are feeling less distressed now. I can assure you I shall find the guilty party and the bracelet. Thank you, officer. Yes. All I want is for Florette to be heard. Bien sûr. Rest assured, she will get the fair trial she deserves. I wonder if you could help me with some questions regarding the house. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. Now I think of it, I don't recall seeing her memento tin. She holds her keepsakes from her father and other gifts or tokens in it. She has such a wonderful collection. She's very lucky. She normally keeps it close, but I didn't see it this morning. When I left, Madame was with Florette in there. Surely she would not have locked her in. It must have been an accident. Madame Vandenbosch should not be deciding her fate. Would you grant me access to speak with her? I would, sir, but I don't have the key. There is a spare somewhere, though. Oh, how awful the thought of her locked in there. Do you have any thoughts as to where I may find it? I'm sorry. Madame does not trust the staff with such knowledge, even me. Although I did overhear her once say it was hidden somewhere, close to her heart. Whatever that means. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. I must act on thought 